six. Oh, and right back to that position. Oh, nasty four five. He's a six. Oh, and right. Oh, nasty four five. All right, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, now, I, t because of that move, uh, my kids were curious. So we started practicing it today and we were just having a good old time. I just wanted to show you guys some cool highlights. Um, this was actually done in order to get some exposure, in order to get some big five points in a freestyle match. But either way, my kids go ahead guys, line up, and then you guys can start doing this to each other. Okay, mix up the double leg, and let's do the water that you saw in the video. We're gonna turn this way. Uh, John, maybe come on over here. He's got him, and he's just gonna practice. We got the crash pad for safety. He's gonna go ahead and just hit right into a cartwheel. Go. Okay. Nice. Keeping safety in mind. Alex is coming up next. Little eighth grader. Okay. Very nice. Looks super dangerous, but all for the sport. Go ahead. Okay. Now. Also, go ahead, get yours. We'll get a few more. Let's get a few more. You notice he did it with his head side. He actually went to the side of his head. Sometimes, you go ahead, uh, Thomas. Go ahead and swing him around that way. Turn around. Sometimes, the guy, you can't take him to the right. You gotta take him to the left. So you take him and go ahead. Jump into it. Don't lose control of the legs. Keep the legs. On the next one. Here we go. Show me. Going into the head side. Cartwheels. And he lands in control. Again, this is to bomb your opponent. Competition wise. Something wrong? The mat. Their feet are getting close to the wall. Yeah. It's all good. It's all good. Here comes Luke. Again. So if you guys want to learn, like, again, I've, I, in other videos I've talked about it, get a crash pad. It's incredible. The confidence that the kids get in order to drive their double legs and explode, that's what you need to get this, okay? Get those double legs picked up, dive into it.